Hello and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 2. If you have three loads into the match, I love the first is Harmage of the Spiffering Low 22, Boxes Man and Goods, like this is the team. And I'll run with you guys. This darkness will most likely be the end of me because it's dark and I need to get all the boxes. Repeatedly. Oh, see, I only missed one. It should happen again and again because I cannot see in the dark very well. Oh well. On the other hand, this level is only necessary for 100% completion, which is what I'm going for, so... Tough it is. There we go, there we go. We didn't make that jump, which I find surprising. I was really quite expecting to make that jump. Alright, get back on the saddle boy. We still have half of this level to A lot more than half of this level left to conquer. See? Once again missed. I guess I let it down until I only have that one jump left to do. There we go, finally. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Shake. Okay, one check one done. That's quite an achievement by itself. Uh, I don't remember how many checkpoints there were in this level. But there were. I don't think it was a very short level. If you can find another shortcut now, that would... I mean... Checkpoint now, that would be nice, but uh, it's, it, it appears I need to do a little bit of a small trick over there, as you can see. So, first off, get back to the line with the big boxes, which is the important line, which is over here. And then seek in the land, because that makes perfect sense. The worst thing is I nailed this jump on the first try but now I can't replicate the results. Oh there we go. Oh, there we go. And there we go. Excellent. That's how I like to see things. Until I accidentally fumble on a pillar because I accidentally look the wrong way. Good job. Whoop. There we go. And a checkpoint. Excellent. 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 Everything is looking a okie dokie ow. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Ta -ta. These bonus levels, the dark levels, they're really, really not all that easy. Oof. Especially since I automatically jump because I am a big, big doofus. A big big silly. Big fat one. So, you know, I'm gonna... No okay shape. Oh, damn it. I did try that again, I didn't get the first box. And I need them all. I've only lost around 10 lives. Surprisingly. I think. Uh, oh, no, I lost the last one. I accidentally sprinted, which increased my speed. The traveling velocity of a polar bear of this particular size. Well, a lot better. I'd appreciate the checkpoint now, game. Or the end. And that's fine too. I'd like this, thank you. What is this then? You look creepily like something. You're not something. Alright, fine. But everything needs to be something. Oh. That texture work though. Then it just looks like it's meant to be horrible because but it's horrible. Instead of looking as if uh, it was 
Um, how do you call it? Uh, just uh, done like that. It looks like it's kind of you know poor texture, poorly UV faced. Is that the thing? I haven't modeled in so long. I don't remember. All right. I think this is the area where I will be unable to get all the boxes without doing things right. I think it's also an area with a death door, so um, I suppose this is the best way to do it. So the plan for this episode is get the death right gem from this, soon to in Mosra. I think there was a death ride in this one. And uh, then fight engine. And then we want to do whatever the fuck I said, please. Look. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. These guys, they aren't very nice. They're just really flaming colors. Kind of disabled doing some things to them. Seriously, yeah, I, I just did that. That kind of meant restarting the level because the floor and it died just before getting on the damn thing. Well, okay, now don't jump down, you big dimmit. There we go. This is no easy zone, I can that much. And it's just here. Come on. I think you can jump higher than that, can't you crash? Uh, I suppose not. Thought there was a tough thing here around there. Perhaps not. Ow! I take a closer checkpoint please, because this one is kind of far away. Too many of these flame colored guys and the uh, flame spewing uh, finger magics around, so I might accidentally endanger myself. Uh, I wonder if I can fall between this platform and the one next to it, or can I just walk over? I can just walk over. God damn it, there was no need to jump, no need for that unnecessary risk. As made clear by the fact that it was unneeded. Oh. Wait. That, then me for the next one. And go. Almost fell off there. Got the monkey man. Alright. This is going to be fun. Uh, at least it's not one of the future areas where there will also be boxes in the center of these spinning things. Is it that brilliant? require me to actually pay attention to the game. Dark damage. Uh, those jumps are a lot more difficult to you know predict because they are well different. In the matter of I don't really know where the thing is coming from. So I suppose I could pay attention instead of just trying to go get on with it. Alright. The fact is, I could probably just jump over them while they were landing. You saw nothing. Ah, there's nothing like doing some of the most frustrating areas of the game after a long day of boring concrete. Yay! Should give you a time frame of when I recorded this, which actually makes sense because I like to record things a week in advance that was poorly timed. What have I got? Oh, thank you, game. That's gonna be useful. Actually, it might be. It just might be. Let's jump in a hole. Which I'm just might do. Right, we're back in this zone, so there's that. 
would be nice to be able to reliably get over here already. But uh, that's not the case. Ooh. Oh god damn it. Is the slipper run? It's probably slipper run. Yeah. It's just back and forward still. It doesn't rotate. There's some that rotate. No, seriously? It's just the need. Oh! This is just what I need. No mind. What have I got? Doesn't matter got gem. Moving on. What a gem of gems. What a gem of gem. Uh. Right. Moving on. Still have a crystal to find. And like a hundred thousand things to kill. And you know, things to forget about, like um, the fact that you can't spin those bastards because they're bastards. Alright, this reminds me, this is a, pretty much an element that's also used in a different section of the game. Except there, all those things we just saw were placed by Nitro. Nitro. Was it TNT? I think it was Nitro. Still, you needed to enable them to get all the boxes. Where the fuck was I headed? I don't understand that. And this is why I don't like playing with gamepads. I could use the direction keys. They're not really in a comfortable place for me. And I kind of need to get used to gamepad again because I will need to resume uh, Dark Souls at some point. Yeah. Check. Bonus level. Not entirely sure how useful this will be, but they might be help. Lives. Lives. Yeah. Those could be nice. Other than that, we just need to finish the level because we won't get the, all the boxes anyway because there is a rooftop access point. It kind of fucks me over. Hey. Yay! Yay! Brilliant! Oh, come on, get back up there. I know you're a living bloody snake pillar. Yeah, there we go. Where the fuck did I jump? It's because it was... It's probably because of the angle I'm holding the gamepad at. So I thought I was moving it right, but that was actually moving it up a little. Which wasn't really beneficial. Lose my ukapaka. I think I don't need my ukapaka. Oh well. Assuming I get everything from here, I should still. Get some lives, yeah. Do you even? Let's go back to unbearable so I could grind lives forever. Except that would be ridiculous scummy and I'm gonna not do that. Unless I find myself with less than than hit lives. In which case I'm going to do that because that's no way to live, you know. Get some nine lives. Bandicoots have like a hundred. Two story. One. Oh. Also spiky hair. Probably don't want to land on that either. Alright. Oh. There's a lot of boxes I'm missing. Cheek. Rash, my boy. You are more than halfway there. But I'm sure you've noticed that things are getting harder. The last ten crystals will be the hardest to gather. And my... <coughs> uh, our enemies will be sending their strongest forces to fortune. I'll contact you again when you have completed the next one. 
Alright, um, I misremembered it's not engine, it's tiny. Tiny, that little tiger. So tiny. Alright, tiger is supposed to have stronger back legs than front legs. But then I don't know how to take that. There we go, that's how we came back. Also, this is going to get more and more ridiculously difficult as time goes by. But just the fact of exactly how many platforms will remain in the air. Imagine I think I'm only left with one. And that's gonna be this particular lap, I think. Alright. Well, there goes one. So it's even going to challenge me in different ways than how it has previously. Which isn't... Oh! No. Ah, here we go. There we go. That's how you do this. So yay. We can't see what Tiny is doing, but we won, so it doesn't matter. Worthy of a chick. Yeah, let's go out. No. That's one way to handle it. There is it. Ah, there's the purple crystal. Alright then. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Next time on Crash Bandicoot 2. Isn't that how you get rid of bees? That's how I get rid of bees. You should sting me afterwards, but that kind of leaves their guts on the floor, so it's 